Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and today I have a vlog, but quickly before we get started, um, make sure you stick around for a video that's going to be going up this weekend, and it's going to be an explosion video using these shot, shot shell shotgun primers, BB guns, and some fruit. So in this vlog, we are going to talk about how I think of my inventions. So as you can see here, I'm building one. But before I get into my specific techniques, um, I've written down on my whiteboard over here the kind of standard process when designing and building something. So starting up at the top here, you'll usually have a problem. And going into that, you're going to research your problem it's hard to think of an example, but whatever your problem may be, you're going to want to research it. Then continue, continuing around the loop, um, think of possible solutions. From those solutions, construct a prototype, refine the prototype into a final design. Then after you've built your final product, you might want to reevaluate it, which could lead to, again, going up into a problem. So it's a big never-ending circle of design, building, for a real invention, not saying mine aren't real inventions, but maybe one that you're taking onto the market or something, which is what I'm hoping to do someday as I'm taking engineering in school. But for my build, it's a little bit different. Here's a quick flowchart I've made for how I design my inventions. So if you wanted to build your own how-to channel, this is kind of the way I do it. So first, again, start at the top here with video type. What I mean by that is over my channel I make lots of different videos. I make gun videos, explosion videos, invention videos that aren't related to guns. I make a lot of tasers. I even do some how-to, maybe some hacks. Um, so as you can see there's all those different genres I guess of videos. Then from there I move into unique idea and this means that when making a YouTube video I always want to choose an idea that is unique or has something unique about it so I'm not just copying someone else. And then the key one here which is different than if you were designing something in the actual field is materials. So as you can see here I'm in my apartment. That is it. That is all. And sorry if I made you dizzy there. For materials I have this white cabinet stuff I find around the house or stuff I buy but I don't like buying stuff because um, I'm a how-to channel which enjoys building stuff from items you may have around your house so you too can build it. If I wanted to I could go out to the store and buy $100 of parts from the hardware store but the downside of doing that is that you probably wouldn't do that, meaning you couldn't make my inventions. Which is the key to why a lot of my inventions, including this one which I'm currently working on, can be made from parts you can find around your house. You'll see this hopefully soon if you want. Let me know. It's a little wooden gun prototype. But as you can see it has elastics, popsicle sticks, a little bolt as the trigger, um, like a dowel, and a steel pipe. It's going to be using some thumbtacks. And I could have made the body out of maybe metal. Could have made this popsicle stick out of a piece of metal. Could have replaced the elastic with springs. But you wouldn't be able to do that. Or you could, but you probably wouldn't. Because that would require a trip to the hardware store. And that's not what my channel is about. So after materials, we go into design. And similar to materials, I want to design it in a way that's easy to build with common tools around the house and since I know a lot of you guys watching this are probably still a teenager or even a, some may consider a kid I don't want you to have to use some tools like that Dremel I'm using so I may have to think of a different way where you can construct that device without using a Dremel um, then after I design it myself I go into the building which is done of course on camera with a lot of my videos. I usually don't build them beforehand 
with this wooden gun being an exception. Um, I like to build it for the first time on camera so we can learn together. If I have a problem, you can see how I resolve the problem. And I have gotten comments in the past of maybe making more professional style videos, but I think my channel is a lot um, maybe less formal. So we build stuff together on the camera. I don't like making complicated projects because then you guys couldn't make complicated projects. And maybe in the future I'll get into different editing styles, but I like making videos quicker, easier, so I can get them to you. I hope you guys like that too. If you want to see a different style, let me know. Um, I could definitely take it into account. But anyway, going back to this, after build, I asked myself, is it doable? Kind of what we already talked about. If you guys can't build it possibly, we just restart the circle until I come up with an idea that is fun to build, easy to build, and is relatively cool. That's pretty much everything I had to say for today's vlog. Uh, I made this video because I had someone recommend it, and I wanted to explain to you guys the thought process behind my projects, um, maybe why they aren't more professional. Hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say. If you guys did want more professional projects that would require you to go to the hardware store and build, um, let me know. I could probably think of a few as I have this whole book here full of ideas. Um, it's just harder to build items. So for now, I'm making lots of easy how-tos and if you aren't a huge fan of vlogs like this one, don't worry. I don't do them too often, but it's a good way to send messages to my fans. And thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it wasn't that much of a boring video. And stick around for more exciting videos to come. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like, comment, and subscribe.